Our first project is going to be making a crate. It won't be these crates, but these could be a good project for the future. We just want to get a cube into Second Life with a texture on it. That sounds easy, but it's not as easy as you might think it could be. Here we go. This workspace hopefully looks a little like the workspace that came when you installed Blender. I have made many changes over the years to mine, and I'm going to show you how to make yours match mine, not because mine's better, but because it might be confusing for you if your workspace looks so much different than mine. This is an optional thing and you do not need to do it, but if you want to, here's how. I have three panes in my workspace that I use all the time. This one that we see is called the 3D viewport. That's the one that we're going to be working in most of the time. Now, since we are in Cycles Render, and you do want to be in Cycles Render, there are other choices, but you want to be in Cycles Render, we will be using nodes a lot. And in order to get a panel so that we can get to our nodes easily, I've made one at the bottom of my screen. To do that, you find the little tiny corner that has diagonal lines, hold down the left mouse button, and in this case, drag up. Once you get there, you can click on the little icon, get lots of choices, and in this case, we're going to choose the node editor. You can make the node editor panel larger or smaller just by dragging the edge of the screen. We're not going to use this right now, so I'm making it smaller. I have one more area over here. I'm dragging over to the left this time. And in that area, clicking again on this, I have the UV image editor. We'll be using that today. I'm going to make this area smaller too because here's what we need to do right now. So that's what you can do if you want to make your screen match mine. If you want to save that as the default so that it automatically comes up while you're working, you can go to File and Save Startup File. And then this will be the look that you have whenever you open Blender. For now anyway, you can change it whenever you want. Our first project is going to be a crate. But on the way to a crate, we're going to learn some other things, some very, very simple things. First of all, we are in object mode here. There's lots of other modes, but we want to be in object mode. And there are some things that you can do in object mode, and there are some things that you need to be in edit mode for. Right now, we're going to click on our cube. Notice that up here, it says that what is highlighted is what we've clicked on. Okay, so it still says cube. I'm going to hit the one key on my numeric keypad so that I'm looking at it front view. That's not terribly important. I just wanted you to know how to change the view. If we go to three, we see it from the side. Control one sees it from the back. Control three sees it from the other side. It's a little hard to tell with a cube, but it's actually moving around. You can see that. OK, so here's our cube. And we're going to upload this cube just as it is, more or less, into Second Life. One thing that we do need to do is we need to add a material to this cube. Now, I have a default material up here, but we're going to get rid of that because you won't have that. And we're going to add a new material and I'm going to call it cube. You can call it whatever you want. So now we have a material here that is connected to our cube and that's all that we really have had that we're, we're doing right now. So let's go over to file and save and here's our crate. I'm going to call it cube upload and we'll save the file. Now we're going to export the file for Second Life or OpenSim. 
So go to File, Export, and in this case we want a DAE file. So click on that. Now there's something very nice that the Blender folks did for us. They made a preset just for us. So we go right down here and pick SL or OpenSim Static. Rigged would be like for clothes and things, okay, or hair, but we're just making a cube, so we just want static. And that automatically makes it so that it exports it with the correct information. Now here's Cube Upload, DAE, and we're going to export the Collada file, and we're all done.